When Hyundai introduced the Initium Hydrogen concept back in late October 2024, it gave us a pretty good idea of what to expect from the redesigned Nexo. Fast forward to April 2025, and the new generation of Hyundai's hydrogen-powered crossover is here. It is the first production model to showcase Hyundai's new Art of Steel design direction. This new Nexo looks a lot more rugged compared to the outgoing model, and the interior has been completely rethought with a more premium feel. Unveiled at the Seoul Mobility Show, alongside the 2026 Ionic 6, the updated Nexo remains faithful to the design of the Initium concept. The angular shape and futuristic lighting give it a bold presence. Around back, there is a bit of a Pontiac Aztec vibe, and surprisingly, it works well. The front and rear each have four-point LED lights, adding to its high-tech personality. One thing that stands out is the lack of traditional side mirrors, replaced by cameras for the Korean market, where that setup is legal. Interestingly, the fuel tank can be filled from either side with caps located on both rear fenders. Step inside, and it is clear Hyundai wanted to make this feel like a next-level vehicle. The dual 12.3-inch screens dominate the dashboard, while physical buttons have been minimized without sacrificing usability. The climate controls are still separate, which is a nice touch. The floating center console no longer connects to the dash, but still includes dual wireless charging pads with silicon grips and built-in cooling fans to keep your phone from overheating. In a move to simplify the interior, Hyundai has removed the traditional gear selector buttons and introduced a column shifter instead. The new Nexo also comes loaded with features like a 14-speaker Bang and Olufsen sound system, a 12-inch head-up display, and upgraded front seats with leg rests. Rear passengers get ventilated seats that recline more than before, along with improved headroom, shoulder space, and doors that open wider for easier entry. Performance gets a boost too. The previous model had 181 horsepower, but the new version jumps to 255 horsepower. Acceleration to 62 miles per hour has improved from 9.2 seconds to 7.8 seconds. It can hit a top speed of 111 miles per hour, though most drivers probably will not push it that far. The hydrogen tank has also been improved. It now holds 6.69 kilograms, up from 6.33 kilograms, and can be refueled in about five minutes, similar to filling up with gasoline. Range has gone up as well, offering over 435 miles on the Korean test cycle. Whether or not the new Nexo will make it to the United States remains uncertain. If it does, it might once again be limited to California. 